Welcome to your audience, students and scholars. Here I'm Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video, we will learn some of mathematical and statistical terminologies uh, which are used in econometrics. So, in this video, we particularly learn about uh, sigma notation and pi notation. Okay, sigma notations. If we wish to add together several numbers, the sigma are summation operator can be very useful summation means add up all of the following elements for example if we have summation 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 so this is called the summation of three numbers in the context of adding the observation on a variable it is helpful to add limits to the summation although note that uh, the limits are not always written out if the mean meaning is obviously without them. For instance, we might write summation or sigma i is equal to 1 approaches to 4. So here we have uh, uh, xi is independent variable and subscript i here present as an index and 1 is the lower limit. Here see 1 is the lower limit and the 4 is the upper limit of the sum. This means uh, adding all of the values of x from x1 to x4. It might be the case that one or both of the limits is not a specific number. For instance, I uh, summation or sigma uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n. Here we have a uh, higher limit uh, till n and the lower limit is 1 so which mean that we we can add x1 x2 so on x xn and sometimes we can write it in a simple way that summation i here index i and x i to, do, uh, to, to denote a sum over all of the values of the index i okay it is also possible to construct uh, some of a more complex combination of variables such as if we have two variables in a, a, in, a, in a sigma notation or in a summation form then uh, summation i is equal to 1 approaches to n x i and z i here we have x i and z i two separate uh, random variable or independent or you can say separate variables Okay, properties for, of uh, sigma operator. First, it is important to be aware of a few properties of the sigma uh, operator. The first one, for example, the sum of the observation on a variable x plus the sum of the observation on the variable z is equivalent to the sum of the observation on x and z first added together individ individually. So see here we have summation or sigma x i approaches to n and x i plus sigma x i approaches to n z i. So here we can if we are adding or summing uh, sum of uh, making some of these variables then we can write it uh, uh, sigma x uh, uh, sigma i is equal to 1 approaches to n into x i plus z i. Okay, the sum of the observation on a variable x each multiplied by a constant c is equivalent to the constant multiplied by the sum. Like we have a, a summation x i, uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n. Here we have c constant x i. So, so we have to separate uh, the constant or you can write the uh, constant before the sigma notation. But the product of the two variables is not the same as the, pro as the product of the sum. Like we have a, a, a sigma i approaches to uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n and uh, x i multiplied by z i is not as equal to uh, the sum of uh, our summation of x i and summation of z i. We can write the left hand side as I uh, see that uh, uh, sigma x i and z i we can write it x i uh, x 1 x 1 x 2 x 2 and so on x n and z n okay that was the mistake we, which i have removed that uh, here we have x 1 
z1 plus x2 z2 so on uh, x n and z n okay where are the right and left hand side can be written as here we can write that uh, summation uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n x i and summation z i we can write it x1 x2 plus so on x uh, x n so like that we can write the z variables z1 plus z2 so on z n okay another property of the sigma operator if the sum n identical elements we obtain n times that number like we have uh, summation or sigma i is equal to 1 n x is equal to so we can write it x1 plus x x2 plus so on xn so far for the whole number of uh, uh, x observation we can write it n x here n is the number of total number of observations suppose that we sum of all the n observation uh, on a series xi for example uh, the x i could be daily return on a stock we can uh, we would obtain that uh, we can write it as uh, uh, summation x i and we can write it x1 plus x2 plus so on xn so here we can uh, if we are taking the uh, stock return so so that we can write it n x bar so here x bar represent the mean of the x observation okay so the sum of the all observation is that from the definition of the mean equal to the number of observation multiplied by the mean of the series x bar finally it is possible to have multiply summation uh, which can be conducted in any order it's not uh, uh, we can say that uh, summation uh, for the summation we cannot follow any uh, specific order for example uh, summation uh, uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n and summation j is equal to 1 approaches to m so we can write it x i x j so you can write it as x j and x i so there is no uh, uh, need for the specific order it means that some over all of the i and j subscript but we could either sum over the j's first for the each i or sum over the i's first for the j for each j usually the inner sum in this case uh, the one that run over j from 1 to uh, from 1 to m would be conducted first uh, separately for each of value or you can say value of i or value of j pi notation here is another important uh, topic which will uh, which which is normally used in econometric that is pi notation the pi operator uh, we can write it a pi like that is an operator that is used to denote repeated uh, multiplication uh, previously uh, we we have a, a repeated additions uh, here we have a repeated multiplication for example if we want to multiply a, a pi uh, i is equal to 1 approaches to n so this means that we have a number of uh, 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 values of x to n so we have to multiply that x1 multiply by x2 so on xn it means that multiply, multiply together all of the x's for each value of i between the lower and the upper limit. Here we have the lower limit 1 and the upper limit n. It is also follows that the pi uh, i uh, uh, lower limit uh, approaches to n c x i. So if we have a constant in the multiplication or in the pi notation then we have to give the uh, by a separate uh, a constant sorry a constant a separate power which is the upper limit of uh, of uh, 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 you can say that uh, the whole uh, equation so here we have c n pi i is equal to 1 approaches to n x i here we have to multiply all of the observation uh, you can uh, not the observation all of the x's so this is the pi notation so in this video we have discussed the summation notations and the, and its uh, uh, its properties and pi notations so see you with another video
ciao